I used to live in the dark A lonely heart without a spark I never thought a life would bring A reason for me to stand up and sing You came in view Couldn't take my eyes off you smile, it's true, and in a flash of blue, everything's electric, from my head down to my toe, everything's electric, I can feel the energy flow. A lonely life without a soul Every day was a fight But nothing ever felt right Then you came in view I couldn't take my eyes off you You smiled it's true, and in a flash of blue, now everything's electric, from my head down to my toe, everything's electric, I can feel the energy flow, yeah, Open a train across the sky. Lightning flash, thunder cry. Love will rain from the clouds tonight. Tonight. Hello, uh, welcome to Guitar Trek. I am Richard J. Dowling and nearly spilled the cup of tea that I've got there. Um, <clears throat> every week I upload an original song and this week it's the turn of a song called Everything's Electric. Uh, I won't go too much into how I wrote this one because it was fairly easy. Um, it's, it, I think it's more or less the same chord progression as the previous week. Um, but what happened was I, just, I was going through my phone because I've got lots of ideas recorded on the phone and I came across this one. So it was like sort of already done for me, by me, from yesterday. Uh, so it's just G, well, it's the rhythm sort of. So G major to the F as a sort of bridge to the C and then back F to the G. Uh, 
Um, the what I didn't have was the sort of pre-chorus, which is uh, leading into the chorus, and I knew that the chorus was going to be using the same progression because it just had that feel to it, uh, but higher up. So used to live in the dark. It's sort of around here. Used to live in the dark. But the chorus goes up. I got to. Yeah, so it's a, a D. Yeah. Electric. So a quick tip to give energy to the choruses. Normally, I mean not always. Um, you're going to be using higher notes for the for the chorus melody than for the verse melody. It gives it a sense of you're up on a, on a higher emotional level of energy. Um, so I knew that the verse and the chorus were going to have the same progression. So in that case, I needed a pre-chorus that had a bit of variety and. I, Actually, that was the most difficult part, but I eventually thought, ah, stay in the G. Then go to A sharp, F major, C major. And do that twice, and then back into the, into the chorus. And then there's a bridge using D minor, to A sharp, to F to C. <coughs> And the lyrics, it was really strange because I, I, I was like wondering what shall I write about and just happened to check Twitter and it, Liam Gallagher had uh, sent out a message, not directly to me unfortunately, but um, saying that his new song was going to be called Everything's Electric and I just, it just, the chorus just sort of popped into my head. Um, so it's a bit weird, it's a song that I know is, there's going to be another song by Liam Gallagher with the same name but it's interesting to compare what I've done with that title and what he's done with his songwriters um, so yeah it just you know somebody it's that moment when you fall in love with someone I remember when I, when I first saw my 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 wife um, back when I was about 19 and it's that sort of moment that you you literally I mean it is thunderstruck I guess the ACDC thing you sort of you know you um, your life's changed in that moment and so yeah it's a simple simple love song uh, what I wanted to talk about as well was the um, uh, the, the song mentorship which I was uh, doing I threw up quite a lot of interesting things and the the most important thing I learned was the use of common meter for writing lyrics so common meter I won't go into the technicalities of it because you can you can sort of uh, look it up but it, essentially it's um, Okay, uh, if you think Mary Had a Little Lamb, uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a cheat because it's not exactly common meter, but the idea is, well, the idea is that you have five uh, EMs, I think they're called. Da-dum, 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 and that's four. And then, so it's one line of four, da-dum, 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 and the emphasis goes on the second syllable. Da-dum, 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 da-dum. Uh, followed by a line of three, da-dum, da-dum, da-dum. So it's... Uh, and Mary had a little lamb cheats because the first syllable is is not there. So it's Mary. Mary had a had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. Um, now it's obviously it's a nursery rhyme. It sounds a little bit childish, but what I started doing was using that for writing lyrics without any music and just just sitting down writing lyrics. And it would be the rhyming scheme would be X B Y B. So the first and the third lines don't have to rhyme with anything but then the second and the fourth lines would rhyme. And I found that if you just write three verses, then you've got basically the whole song, you just need to put in a chorus and, and Bob Jungle. So every morning I was getting up writing like three verses about different things. And uh, it, would just, it, was just, it just came uh, really easily. Then afterwards, fitting them to, to music try, was, was maybe a little bit more difficult. But because you've got the, the verse written in such a way, you can change it around. I mean, I changed a lot of them into back into couplets. So it would be, uh, a A B B sort of thing, rhyming schemes and stuff. So you, once you've got them, once you've got them written down, then you can edit them to change your your song as needs be. So that's been quite a major um, innovation in in my songwriting. So I think up until well, the last few weeks I haven't been doing it. I've been trying to. I've been. Do, I've gone back to my old habit of just trying to f have the melody first and then fit lyrics to it. But up until Christmas, I think the previous five or six weeks all the songs had had the lyrics written first and then um, as I'd come up with a musical idea I'd try and see which lyric idea fitted with it. So that was um, very interesting and I recommend it to, to everybody 
particularly if, like me, you struggle with, with lyrics. It was a revelation um, to sort of feel as though it was quite easy. It, was, it, was, it wasn't something that I, I had to struggle with. And so that really opened me up and I hope that it does the same for you. If you've got any questions about it, please put them in the comments and, and I'll answer it. Um, but yeah, so that's it, that's it, writing lyrics in common meter. Uh, it takes a lot of the pressure off and then when you have a song idea you can adapt and change the lyrics to fit as needs be and that's it that's all for today i've got to go um bit of a rush uh but where are we now this is week i don't know we come up to we're getting close to the hundred phase so i'm getting sort of nervous about um sort of anxiety of reaching 100 i guess but well uh i should be so lucky take care everybody bye bye